Hamburg, and I spoke with leaders of Fitchburg's Meals on Wheels program who are trying to keep up with the demand they're seeing in their city, but it just keeps growing. There's just so many different aspects of that meal program that touch people's lives. The Fitchburg community supports its older adults through cooking meals and delivering them. Oftentimes seniors will say if I didn't have Meals on Wheels, I would maybe eat a bowl of cereal or eat, you know, a piece of toast. City volunteer program manager and nutrition site manager Mandy Miller says a lack of affordable food is just one of the barriers they face. The increases in the Social Security are not meeting the demands of the increase in housing, um, food, transportation, medication, all of that. So it's very challenging. The city's Meals on Wheels program serves dozens of those seniors, and they receive more than just food. They receive love. Um, it's that wellness check to make sure things are okay. Things are sort of status quo with our home delivered clients. Um, and here, uh, we eat with our clients every day. You know, being able to interact with others um, is, is really critical. I think that social isolation, we all know the health effects of that. Jill McCone, Senior Center Director for the city, says resources are scarce. As the population of older adults continues to rise, so does the need for funding and volunteers. I've seen volunteers go from, you know, taking on weekly positions to then uh, taking on like once a month positions or episodic positions. McCone says at a city, county and state level and even at a national level, support systems aren't keeping pace with the growing population's needs. It is really a critical program that needs to be funded, federal, state, county, and local, um, because it's preventative. The organizers tell me that each day they staff the kitchen with four volunteers who pack up the food that goes out and five drivers to distribute the meals on the routes. If you'd like to help out, you can visit our website to find the application. Live in the studio, Shane Zhao in WMTV 15 News.